Quick, call 911. You are under attack. There may be something attacking your joints, tissues, and practically every part of your body. What are you going to do about it? I know. Let's learn about it. Okay, so who hasn't heard of inflammation? Inflammation is the infamous bad guy that's claimed to cause all of our health problems. And yes, chronic inflammation has been linked to the pathogenesis of many diseases. But inflammation in general gets a bad or potentially undeserved reputation. Now in this video, we're gonna talk about how H2 can help with inflammation and essentially act as an anti-inflammatory. But first, let's talk about inflammation in general and what it really is. Inflammation is the human body's immune system's response to a stimulus. At its core, inflammation is a protective response that protects us from harmful stimuli. Everyone say, thank you, inflammation. The inflammatory response is designed to eliminate the initial cause of injury or cell damage and to get rid of dead cells and initiate tissue repair. Acute inflammation only exists for a few days or for a few weeks. It can have symptoms of redness, heat, pain, swelling, or loss of function. Now, chronic inflammation is your body's immune system getting confused and attacking healthy tissue or cells. This causes harmful inflammation and leads to a state of having constant inflammation. This can lead to diseases such as rheumatoid arthritis, arthrosclerosis, psoriasis, Crohn's disease, even cancer. Okay, so now let's get to the fun part. A2 can potentially help with inflammation, but not in just one way but four ways. The first way hydrogen can reduce inflammation is by reducing oxidative stress. Oxidative stress can play a pivotal role in the inflammatory process of the human body. Excessive ROS is known as a mediator for cell growth, cell death, and the inflammatory response. First, H2 effectively reduces oxidative stress in the cells. This leads to less stimulation of cellular pathways that increase inflammation. The second way hydrogen can reduce inflammation is by downregulating pro-inflammatory cytokines. Pro-inflammatory cytokines are enzymes in the body that work to increase inflammation. H2 can downregulate these, meaning help our bodies make less of them. It can potentially do this in a few ways. Hydrogen can decrease lipid peroxidation and the release of LPS, which in turn decreases the expression of pro-inflammatory cytokines. Hydrogen is known to upregulate the hormone ghrelin in our gut, which also inhibits pro-inflammatory cytokines. Another way is that hydrogen can influence and regulate the ionic calcium signal transduction pathway and suppress the NFAT signaling pathway, which both lead to the downregulation of the expression of pro-inflammatory cytokines. And there may be more ways that hydrogen can downregulate these enzymes that have not been discovered yet. The third way hydrogen can reduce inflammation is by upregulating anti-inflammatory cytokines. Yes, you heard that right. Our bodies make these powerful enzymes that actually help to fight the inflammation within itself. And even though hydrogen tells our bodies to make less of the enzymes that create inflammation, it tells it to make more of the ones that fight inflammation. Science is still trying to figure out how hydrogen is doing all of this. But the data is clear. Hydrogen appears to be very effective at this. Just take a look at this study where it says the levels of anti-inflammatory cytokines were higher with hydrogen water. And later states that hydrogen water's protective effects were from suppressing pro-inflammatory cytokines and inducing anti-inflammatory cytokines. The fourth way is that hydrogen appears to prevent or prohibit the elevation of excessive inflammation in the first place. Hydrogen can inhibit inflammatory cell infiltration and inhibit the production of chemokines. This suppresses a variety of immune and inflammatory responses in various white blood cells. These effects can prevent the elevation of excessive inflammation and can have a significant potential anti-inflammatory effect on the human body. So with all that being said, what will you be reaching for to reduce your excessive inflammation? I know what I'm reaching for. Thank you for watching this video and please be sure to subscribe and share because who doesn't want to reduce their inflammation? And that was your inflammation suppressing dose of H2 in two minutes.